Hey guys, so I haven't done an exclusively makeup focused video on here in a little while, so I thought I would sit down today and do a lockdown makeup routine. Um, I'm using 10 products, um, a few of them are skincare though, so it doesn't really count. Um, no brushes, and it takes me about five minutes. Um, and this is what I do, this is probably like the most makeup that I'll wear at the moment. Most days I'll just be rocking it like this in tracksuit, no makeup. Um, a lot of the time I I won't wear makeup for like most of the week but once or twice a week I want to make an effort and actually like look nice especially if I'm filming or taking pictures for Instagram things like that so here is my super basic glowy easy um, good for your skin <laughs> makeup routine my skin is not very happy in lockdown at the moment <laughs> um, but yeah, there we go. Um, so I'm gonna start off with my Elizabeth Arden Great 8 Cream. Now this is a really good all rounder. I've spoken about this loads before. Um, it's basically a moisturizer, um, but it also acts as a primer at the same time. It just sits really, really well under makeup. It's really lightweight and it has SPF 35 as well. So um, I use this as my kind of daily um, sun cream, unless I'm, kind of outside in the garden and it has been really really hot over the past couple of weeks a few times so in that scenario I'll wear like proper sun cream and no makeup but day to day like if I'm just out well, obviously not out and about but out in the garden um this tends to be my kind of go-to so pop a little bit of that on down my neck as well and then a little bit of lip balm I've been loving this recently. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Lip Oil, and this was in my monthly favourites last month, so for April. It's a roll of all. Oh my god, it's so nice. I love it so much. A um, little bit of lip balm on, and then the next product I tend to use, I've been using this loads actually, as well as the lighter one, um, is By Terry's Brightening CC Serum. This is like a cult product, loads and loads of people love this. Um, I personally prefer this bronzy one to um, the pinky one, which is the classic one. They do a few others as well. They've got like an apricot color one. Um, but the bronzy one is so good, especially if you've got a little bit of a tan. I just use one pump. A little bit goes a long way with this. And then just put it between my fingers. And then I kind of, I put it all over, but I start applying it like on my forehead, down my nose, on my cheeks, chin, down the neck, and then put it everywhere else as well so that it's not, I don't use it like as a bronzer, but it definitely adds some bronze and some glow. And a lot of the time I'll just use this um, with no um, coverage as well. So like no foundation or no concealer. Most of the time to be fair, if I'm not wearing foundation, I will wear a little bit of concealer. So that's the By Terry. Just adds such a nice glow. I love that product. It's expensive, but really, really good. And then for a base, I've been using this for a few months, actually. I think this was one of my monthly favourites back in, maybe in January. Um, it's the Armani Prima Colour Control Glow Moisturiser. So this also has SPF 35, so I'm doubling up. I'm only using a tiny bit of this. This is a tinted moisturiser, so um, it's kind of halfway there between um, a moisturizer and foundation. I'm literally just using a tiny bit of this. And I'm not focusing like on the center of the face because I'm actually gonna put concealer there in a second. Um, especially around my nose. Like a lot of the time with foundation, if I'm going for like a full foundation look, I'll start like in the middle of my face and go outwards, but this is just super light, so I kind of start on the biggest parts of my face, cheek and my, my cheek, my cheeks, got two of them, and my forehead, and just kind of pat it in. It's so nice, I love this stuff. And I actually don't think, the colour I use is number two. And then I'm also just going to put a little bit of concealer. I'm using my um, NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in Custard. This is like an old classic, I've used this for years. I'm not using much of it, I'm just literally a couple of dots on my nose and here. I tend to get quite red and like little broken capillaries around my nose. Three dots under my eye, a little bit on the eyelid as well. And then I've got loads of tiny little breakouts on my chin at the moment. And then just here I get a bit of redness where um, I have a bit of eczema, which I shouldn't cover it up, but I do. <laughs> um, kind of doesn't really help the situation. And then a little bit of redness on my cheek there, a bit there and then just use my finger to blend it in. And because all of the products I've used 
are super creamy and moisturising, it will literally just melt into all of that. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. I would sometimes use a beauty blender for this as well because it would be a bit quicker. I thought it would be nice to do the whole thing with just my fingers. So that's it for the base, super glowy, couple of minutes. And then I'm also gonna put on a little bit of blusher. I've been using this, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm. It's the Beauty Light one, so it's the blush version of the highlighter and contour um, that I spoke about loads when they launched a couple of years ago. I love this, it's so easy. It's kind of like a blush and it has a little bit of glow to it as well. So you literally can just like draw it on and then use your finger to just kind of blend it in. It's super natural and glowy looking and just very very easy um to chuck on love it and it's just really kind of rosy and pretty minimal effort required i love the highlighter as well but i haven't really been using highlighter and contour <laughs> in the last few months if i'm honest probably got a little bit more on that side okay love that um, and then I'm also going to do a little bit of liquid liner, which I know people will think is crazy because for a lot of people, liquid liner is like, uh, or like a, a long, annoying, arduous task. But actually, I've been doing it for so long, I feel like I've got the technique down. If I want to do an eye look that isn't just mascara, I could just add just mascara now and be fine. Then I will do a little tiny flick. I have completely fallen back in love with the Lancome Grandiose Liner. When this launched... I like it was maybe like four, probably four years ago now. I loved it, I absolutely loved it. And then obviously like moved on to other things and then now I'm just completely back in love with it again. So I literally just do from just over halfway, do a little line, make it thinner at that end, flip this round, draw the flick, go in and make it a little bit sharper and a little bit longer. and then smooth that line out. And then that's pretty much it. Super quick, super easy. I'm actually gonna get super close to the mirror now because it's really hard to see this whilst filming yourself. You have to look directly at yourself. Yeah, super tiny little flick, probably 20 seconds, done. And then you just shake it up again, get enough for the other side, and it's super easy. And then lastly, actually not lastly, because I haven't done my brows yet, I'm gonna pop on, oh, eyeliner on the floor, pop on some mascara. I'm still just about finishing off my Lancome Grandiose, or Hip, not Grandiose, Hypnos Drama. I had two of these at Christmas, the limited edition sparkly ones, and I'm just finishing off the second one. Little slick of mascara. Then I'm gonna pop a little bit of pen through my brows. Um, I'm using, or I've been using the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is a double-ended um, pen. It has the super skinny brow pencil, which actually mine literally has run out, um, on one end. And then it has the ink on the other. And I'm just gonna use the ink because it stays better. I actually had my brows microbladed um, in December and I was due to go and get the top up the week before lockdown and I didn't feel very well so I cancelled because I was like just in case I've got something I don't want to pass it on to anyone um, or on to Suman who did my brows um, and I ended up not getting it and now I don't know when I'll be able to get the top up it's so frustrating because they're like half done like when you have microblading you do it in like two parts so you have the first bit see what takes then get it topped up um, so yeah anyway my brows are missing a few where they're supposed to have a little bit of microblading in the front here. Um, so I literally just draw in a few of the hairs and then I go in a bit, a bit heavier on the back end here. Wow, the sun has just come out. I'm hoping you guys can still see me, that is intense. Um, and then I just brush through, nothing major with the brows, just filling them in a little bit. And then last but not least, really is the last one this time, uh, my Clinique. Uh, lipstick in subtle this is the even better pop um, this is just the most nude 
of nudes. Super easy, super comfortable. It's basically like a balm. Um, and that is it. For my lockdown makeup, if I'm making a super big effort, um, these are the products that have been my kind of go-to over the past couple of months. Um, really easy, really glowy. Um, usually would take me five minutes, but because I've been nattering away to you guys, it's probably taken me about 15. Um, but yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.